Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're doing fine and today I will show you how can we draw fur, pet fur and this is one of my drawings and later I will show you more details but we are, uh, we are going to work on a very small section like this and then I will show now the step by step how we can create this effect. Alright, so uh, here we already have about three or four steps, and then I will show you just keep drawing here. So, first thing we have to consider is. Uh, when I draw a pet, a cat, or a dog fur, I just make short strokes, short movements, uh, usually because the, the hair is short. So I do it as much as I can, movements, and I alternate the tones so from we are starting with a HB 8B and then we are going to 2B and 6B and the eraser right so the idea the basic idea is uh, just start doing some movements Okay, don't be afraid if you are a, uh, a beginner and you have no idea how to start it, just start it. So, uh, start doing movements and also uh, you see that I make one movement a bit in angle, not straight in vertical but a bit in angle and the other one a bit uh, the reverse angle so we are alternating because the fur is definitely not uh, organized yeah so just do it small and continuous movements and also you follow the direction of the the reference image so I will show you on the drawing but we suppose the fur is going this direction okay Now just this area, I will brush it a bit and I brush at the same direction. Now you are going to a 2B. My camera has some difficulty to focus. Now this is to be Benson and it's already darker you see If you like working with mechanic pencil you can also use a variety of mechanic pencils uh, leads In fact, in the near future, I'm considering buying some mechanical pencils. Okay, now 
the second layer and I brush it again. And here I will use a bit of the eraser to already create some some light. The light will depend on your reference basically, but just to demonstrate on this small section how you create light. Okay. Now I'm going to use the 8B. No. 8B pencil. It's a way darker. Just be careful with uh, 4B, 6B, 8B above the they lose its sharpening very easy so you start getting thicker fur so this is one uh, disadvantage for you if you wanna to keep consistent the same texture okay and then I brush it again Can you see the, the difference in tones from the 8B, the 2B, and HB? The 8B, I'm speaking Spanish, <laughs> the 8B, yeah. the light to the darkest one. And the white of the paper is the eraser. See? This is just a start for you that has never worked with uh, hair or fur before. You are really beginner. Uh, And then according to your progressing and getting better and more focused and uh, more confident, you are improving this. So the areas you see it's uh, too much white and then you make stroke here, see? You keep it all at the same uh, thickness. You can dark even more. You can use a black pencil and then you can dark way more than this. Okay. And now I'll show you on the drawing. Uh, you see the darker areas the fur it's almost disappearing and here the eraser can produce this effect a white fur above the dark area you see here and when you when you give it movement, you see how the movement is going this way here to create this area. And also here, how it guides 
to restart this movement. You see? And uh, uh, also here, you see some hair going out to give it more realistic aspect. You see? And this is also with the eraser, okay? So this texture, this technique is part of my new course book, How to Draw Textures, and it's finally available on Amazon. Uh, the link will be on description. And I really hope you like this technique and you practice. And I'll see you on the next video. And subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.